Good morning, everybody. Hope that you are having a fantastic day, even though it is kind of snowy and slick out, but yeah, just getting the animals taken care of, checking on the horse, even though he likes to stand out in the cold all the time, checking on the ducks and the chickens, and just gonna be a pretty good day, just kind of relaxing today, having a day off work. Um, see what has in store and see what we can do. So it's been kind of a boring day. Went to the store, went to get a pick up a couple things. Um, just kind of been lounging around, relaxing on my day off. Did a little bit of something that was kind of new and weird, but something I kind of enjoyed, but I did some singing. Not very good, but I did it. I recorded some of it, so maybe if you're lucky, you get to see some of that. Other than that, just gonna relax and enjoy the day off, kind of spend it with the dogs, kind of just been away from them with the holiday, you know, Thanksgiving and everything, been away from them for a little bit, so. They need some time, you know, to play and have fun and get some attention, so do some editing with the music I recorded and I don't think there's much else going on today. Superman's got nothing on me. I'm only one call away. Crowded hallways are the loneliest places for outcasts and rebels and anyone who just dares to be different. Also going to show you something pretty cool. We went on a family vacation back in the end of October down to Disney World. Um, it was kind of cute because we gave my nephew a surprise that he thought he wasn't going until after his birthday. But we ended up giving it to him before that. It took him down there in October, so we ended up making a video showing different parts of the parks and hoping that he could kind of guess where we were going. But he seriously thought that we weren't going until after his birthday, so he's confused why we were showing him this video in the airport. And he was kind of worried that he was going to be late for school. But I'm going to show you his reaction here too. It was pretty cool to see his reaction. It kind of gave me goosebumps when I was watching it. Been getting some feedback from yesterday's video, um, and it's good feedback and it's good, it's bad feedback. Some people reached out and was like, "If you ever need anything, you know, feel free to, you know, contact me." I never knew you were going through anything like that. But I think some people thought that I'm still contemplating them thoughts, and it's not. It's the reason, the whole reason behind that video wasn't to get attention, it wasn't to get fame and get people feel sorry for me. It was to raise the awareness around the bullying and what kids are actually thinking when they're going through that. Um, I think you've probably seen through part of my music that I was attempting to sing, it kind of stems a lot around that. I really do want to get out there and try getting people to understand what the effects are of bullying. Um, it would be kind of cool to get into schools and talk to kids about it and help raise the awareness that way. I've tried in the past, it's really hard to get schools to agree to it and to accept the idea that it is happening. And there's not a lot of, I guess, people that really want to accept it. So I hope that does change in the future here. But I do appreciate everyone that reached out to me as far as that. And I'm sorry that I brought tears to some people's eyes because of what I was feeling throughout the whole time when I was getting bullied and everything. But I hope that it really does open up some people's eyes and that it gains a little bit more momentum. And right now we're at like 20 some views. I hope it gains a lot more. A lot more people need to realize it. I'm talking with some of my friends and people that, you know, watched the video and said, you know, I see messages this morning when I woke up saying I was in tears and I was crying, bawling my eyes out. But being able to connect with them and knowing that they were also bullied at one time was kind of touching, kind of sad, that I never knew that they were either. So no matter what people say, no matter what people do, always remember that you're not alone. Remember that 
what you say can hurt people, and it might not be the exact way you say it or how you mean to say it, but it's, it could be a multitude of things of how they their day's going. It could be that they that's just the last straw. So please think about what you say before you say it. You never know when that last straw could be, and that somebody decides that it's just they've had enough. Um, so I hope you guys had a great day. Sorry to bore you with long vlogs and long part of it. I'm kind of new to this aspect of it. I'm hoping that they kind of get a little bit better, a little bit more creative as some people walk away because of that, you know, such as like Casey Neistat walked away because his, he wasn't being creative enough in his mind, which his vlogs are pretty awesome, I think. Um, but I hope that you guys had a great day and always remember to make yourself smile, make other people smile, and remember, I can.